What's up everyone? Sainar Edwards here. Welcome back to Ski. Swift coding for everyone. All right, so we're going to continue in our lesson um, in 1.3 of our book, App Development with Swift, Everyone Can Code. And in this section in 1.3, we're going to talk about operators. We're going to talk about how to do basic math operations. We're going to talk about how to add two numbers of different types. And we're going to talk about how to find the remainder of a division operation. Okay, and we'll get right into it. So we already know how to assign a value and that operation itself is very important and it's just the equal sign. All right. And, and this is all what basically what operators are. So operators are the symbols that make your code work. So we'll say, or I'll say this, you can say whoever you want to. So my is my wife. That's my favorite person. Hashtag brownie points. All right. So we'll create another variable and we'll say var current. I would say var shoe size. Equals 10. All right, so we assigned the value of 10 into shoe size. Well, let's say we grew a little bit and now our shoe size is actually 11. So all you got to do is say shoe size and do your equal sign again and now 11. And you can see the proof and when you print it as well. So it won't print 10, it'll print the 11. You see that? Bam, that works. All right. Now for basic arithmetic, um, which is basically your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, right? And we also have a remainder operator. And your addition is very easy. So we'll just say var number one equals four var number two equals eight number three let's we'll say this equals I don't know, 14 or something all right cool so we're gonna do some addition so let's say number one plus number two you can do something like that as easy as that or you can actually put this inside of a variable and you can say var addition equals, let's say var, to, var addition total. And it's 12, so we just assigned uh, adding uh, number one and number two into the addition total variable, right? So that's carrying a value of 12. All right, and you can do subtraction, you can do multiplication uh, the same way. So let's do some multiplication. So we'll say var uh, let's say var, no, uh, var three, and we use the asterisk. Uh, for multiplication number two and let's see what we get there so we get 112 when we divide or multiply number three by number two uh, which is uh, basically 14 and 8 in our situation okay now to get a remainder of something so let's say uh, R1 equals 9, and we'll say var 2 equals 2. Now, the operator for the, for the remainder function or, or, or the remainder operator is a little bit different. It's actually the percent sign. So, what you do here is you can say, R 
anger equals one, and then you can do percent sign, and then you can do two. And they'll tell you that is one left over, right? Because you got two, four, six, eight, and then you got one more left. Um, so that's what that's how you get the remainder um, out of two numbers is by using the percent sign. Now you can also do some, you know, some decimal precision uh, as well. And the way you can do that, so say if you were trying to calculate distance or something like that, so you can go. Uh, you can say let uh, destination uh, distance equals uh, let's say fifty four point seven. You say var distance travel. Uh, you can say. 24.2 and you can say var distance remaining equals destination distance minus distance travel All right and when you do that you'll get the uh the total for how much you have left. All right, so you can even print it if you want to. So you can print distance remain, distance remaining, and we can print it in the console. And so, and this is a double. Uh, this is decimal precision. All right, thirty point five. Now for compound assignments, you could do something like this. So. Let's say, you know, earlier on, um, we, you know, how we added to our shoe size. So when we said shoe size, you can do shoe size equals shoe size, which is currently, which is now is 11, right? And you can say plus, plus two. So now we're at a size 13, as you can see over here in the console. Um, but another another way you can do this is an easier way to do this is you can say shoe size plus equals one. You can do that. So now we're at 14, as you can see in the console over here to the right. Uh, you can do it with the minus equal sign. So you can say shoe size minus equals one. Now I'm back at a 13. All right. Uh, you can do shoe size. Uh, you can do times equals or times equal to. I was like a twenty something, right? Twenty six. You could do shoe size uh, divided by equal to. And that brings it back down. All right, the 13, and so on and so forth. So those are your compound assignment operators, and that's how it works. And, and as you can see, it's a whole lot easier uh, uh, than this, you know, writing it like, you know, this way up here online, 39, you know. Um, now, order of operations, uh, you know, work the same way as we learned in, in grade school, you know, kind of like, what was it called? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or something like that. So we know that. You know, parentheses come first, and then you got uh, multiplication and division, and then you got your addition and subtraction. So we'll say uh, var A equals 7, var B equals 3, and say var C equals 9. Okay. So we'll say when you do A, plus B, you get 10, all right? Now, if you did, uh, let's say B times A, all 
plus C. So we get 30 right here because the multiplication comes first, right? So we do seven times three, which is 21, and then you add nine to it and you got 30. Uh, but you got parentheses, so we'll add one with parentheses. Parentheses, so we'll do a, we'll do C minus A, and we'll do times B. Let's see what we get here. Parentheses, um, you know, go before multiplication and division. All right. All right guys, so now we're on to numeric type conversions. So let's say you had two variables of two different types you wanted to add them together. So let's do this. So let's say we had X equals three, which is an int, and we had let Y equals uh, 0 0.1415927. All right, now what do you think will happen if we tried to add these two numbers together? What do you think will happen? I'll tell you what will happen. Actually, I'll show you. So let's say we wanted to store the result into this, into pi. So we say let pi equals x plus y. Let's see what the compiler will tell us. You think it's going to work? Nope. Look, what does it say? It says binary operator plus cannot be applied to operands of type int and type double. So what do we need to do here? We need to convert, obviously, right? numeric type conversions. So obviously we will we would like it to be a double because we've got the 0 0.1415927. Um, so all we have to do is just surround the x with parentheses because that's the double, it represents the three, right? And then in front of it, we'll just say double to convert that into a double. So now it compiled and it worked. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Be sure you complete the lab at the end of this chapter. I believe this one is six questions, okay? Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already down below. And thank you for joining us. Take care.